Hey Virgo, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. I'm going to do your June 2021 general love reading and what's happening in your life and what is coming next in your love and overall in your life. Whatever I can pick in from the spirit, from the gods, whatever they're going to tell me today. So keep an open mind. This is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. You can also book a personal reading with me if you want it. Check out the description box for all the personal and private readings. Contact me on my email address and the instagram link this is the two authentic ways that you can reach out to me for personal and private readings so let's see sun moon rising any planets if you have in virgo you can write this reading let's see virgo what's happening what's happening in your life and who is coming okay so we have the eight of swords we have the queen of cups we have the devil reverse. Okay. I feel like a lot of you, you're cutting a toxic relationship right now. You could be coming out of a relationship or marriage. You definitely, or maybe recently you cut the karmic. Or right now in the process of uh, cutting the karmic hair, leaving your karmic behind, Virgo. There's definitely a karmic situation or partner. We have the Hierophant. So this could be definitely a marriage, a lot of you, with the moon card too. Wow, 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 I love that when it happened. So we have the king of chalices and king and queen of chalices back to back coming up together. There's a couple here. Let's see. We have the justice and then we have the five of pentacles. Oh my God, what happened? I want to get clarity on this. And I'm getting clarity on this. Hmm. Let's see what's happening here. Okay, I'm seeing something different here now. We have the Princess of Swords, bottom of the deck. So this is, there is someone who's definitely watching you, stalking you, or this could be you. Where go? You're watching and stalking someone on social media. Um. Okay interesting so you could be dealing with libra taurus capricorn any water sign because i'm seeing heavy water here pisces cancer scorpio i'm getting gemini cancer vibes here um moon heavy water again cancer strong cancer here um libra gemini aquarius any earth sign we also have the pisces very strongly here so what i am seeing here is that Okay, I'm definitely seeing a love triangle. It's a third-party situation here. This is not going to resonate for everyone. I'm seeing that there's a couple here and they're married, okay? And But there is a knight of swords here, energy, that is karmic with the wheel of fortune, with the, with the devil here and knight of swords. So a lot of you, this could you can call it, it's a secret affair. Or you can call it just affair, like not secret, it's affair with someone like you love or wanting to have a family with but the problem is that you could be in a marriage or commitment with someone else because we have the couple already with the king and queen of cup it's a marriage it's it's a contract they have a family together right uh, this could be a matter of a children that you both are stuck or you may be stuck in this relationship but this could be talking about you okay like you have a choice or you could be in in relationship with someone that they are married yeah, there's a third party here. There's a baby mama or baby father here. I'm definitely seeing a family involved here, children involved here. And that's where things are stuck here. Because I'm seeing with the justice and Hierophant, it's a marriage. Someone is married. Someone in a committed relationship. Look at this, how this person is begging to this person. So that, that person could be not happy in the marriage because we have the five of pentacles and the hangman. So there's a delay here. This person they may be of you or them i don't know but there's definitely one person is feeling left out in the cold because the other person is not giving them commitment they're not being with them they're not there's separation here um if this is a single person that you're dealing with okay i'm strongly feeling this person is not giving you commitment but you maybe have some type of strong um sexual connection with this person or intimacy with this person so this person always in and out in your life whenever they want your body um no offense but i strongly feel this is a very sexual connection you wanting um you wanted um 
a marriage or commitment from this person so they walked away from you and they left you out in the cold and you're still you know with the five of pentacles and hangman you're still not not knowing where you stand with this person this person definitely put you in a third party or this person left you out in the cold they did not give you the commitment but you thought maybe this is your soulmate or twin flame because we have the king and queen of cups you know the suitors of the same you know from same suit same element so this is a definitely king and queen of cup here what energy here with the moon card and the eight of swords there's a lot of fears here there's a lot of anxiety here look at this again baby mama here you could be single mother watching this video does not have to be so maybe this is your fears like if this person is going to accept you or your child are you going because you are the mother already okay with the moon card and eight of swords this is definitely you're really worried about your child you're really worried about your children but this could be someone that who's coming back to you you have a marriage with you are in a separation with you know you definitely wanting this person to be with you or they wanting to be with you again they wanting to re reconcile this is definitely someone who's watching you they're watching your pictures they're maybe watching you on social media or they could be watching and stalking you wherever you work like this person definitely getting information about you wherever you are it does not matter it's on social media or maybe they're getting information uh, from your friends or family or something now we have the ten of cups and the lovers here so a lot of you this is a choice that this person need to make like they need to choose their family or they wanting to be with you because this person is already in a marriage and contract are committed they have a children they have a family but there's a love here that they are feeling with you it's it's like a soulmate i again tell you lovers here so this is like a soulmate or twin flame and seven of cups here you are confusing about this connection butterfly transformation this is a very transformational connection for both of you this is also like a divine purpose here that you met each other but for others of you if this is a totally single person that you're dealing with they want to marry you period ten of cups and two lovers look at this it's like a marriage ceremony they want to propose you with the justice card and hierophant this is all marriage card they want to marry you they want to offer you commitment but I'm strongly feeling there is someone who is in a committed relationship already and the other person is feeling left out in the cold and there's still delay here but this person really wanting to have a maybe romantic or sensual connection with you rather than emotional or committed so we have the ten of cups and the lovers it's definitely a union here like this person really wants to be with you and wanting to have this emotional intimacy with you or romantic connection seven of cups a lot of you this could be like a dream come true for you like whatever you have been dreaming for finally it's coming true you've gone through a transformation or right now going through a transformation you could be seeing a lot of butterflies so maybe this is a sign that this person is coming change is coming transformation is here you've gone through a lot with this person for others of you i'm picking up this could be this person coming out of a marriage or relationship and they want to marry you but i'm seeing with the moon card this is definitely it's like a uh, i'm gonna clear here basically what is this moon here so let's see from this deck what is this moon here because i really want to please spirit tell me what is this moon here what is something hidden here or secret here what is this moon energy here but i strongly feel this is like a mother here you are being a mother or this person is already ha has a mother of their children or something or this could be if this is a single person their mother is not wanting to be with you page of cups yeah um this person could be secretly wanting to send you a message or you're going to have a secret conversation with this person you're going to have a you're going to receive a message from this person like definitely in a dm or on social media but it will be a secret like their family is not going to know about it this will be a secret between you and this person for some of you it's 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 like a secret i don't know it's like a secret affair or something if this person is married or or you are in a relationship or you could be single mother or something i don't know there's a definitely a third party here strongly third party here i'm picking up i want to clear this this um yeah this person is going to send you a message five of cups because this person is hurting right now they're not happy they're not satisfied wherever they are yeah look at the six of cups again children involved here a mother of a children involved here so this person may be going to send you a message and it will be a secret from the mother of a child or this could be you mother of a children 
already are you could be already a mother so they're going to send you a message the fool card they're just going to send you an unexpected way it's like a risky message this person is going to send it with the page of cups and the fool this person is going to risk it all to talk to you or to send you a message so this person definitely have a fear with the eight of swords to send you a message because they don't know how it is going to be you are going to react it or if their family is going to know about it how they're going they are going to react it because there's a fear here this person also feel like they're just chasing a dream. Look at this. With how this fool is coming to chase this, you know, wanting to catch this, the moon, wanting to touch the moon, and you have the moon here already. So this person definitely feel like you're just a dream for this person, and they want to catch it, they want to touch it. And they're going to definitely going to grab it. They're going to send you a message. But sending you a message is a risk for this person, I'm hearing, are talking to you. I don't know, for some reason, because I feel there's a definitely a family involved or a third party here. This person could be in, in, in um, for some of you, this person could be a boss, a leader, a senior um, person um, at your work situation. So maybe that's why this person is hesitating, because I feel this person is older than you, or they could be holding a position in the community. They could be fearing about their repetition, maybe. But this person is watching, I mean, come on, watching you like a, stalking you. Free yourself, surrender to the divine. And we have a pay attention to the red flags. Yeah, there's definitely a red flag here. This is not an easy connection. It's very complicated. But there's a lot of passion here. Like this person can't hold it. They can't hold it, honey. They are just coming in. New love. For a lot of you, this could be a new person. that Who's like obsessively, secretly watching you and obsessing over you. And for others of you, this is someone who wants a new beginning with you. Yeah, calling your soulmate in. So a lot of you, you're definitely going to see this person as your soulmate because we have a king and queen of cups. And we also have the lovers. This is your soulmate, guys. Yeah, this person is going to be a flirting with you. There is definitely conversation happening. A message that is going to be... There will be a flirty message that you're going to receive from this person and you're going to reconnect, reconnect or reconcile with this person if this is someone coming from the past. For others of you, this is someone new. But keep an open mind because this person has someone else already. They could be already dating people, multiple people, dating around a lot of people. They have a lot of options with the Seven of Cups. But they feel the pill, feel, sorry, pull and passion towards you that they can't deny it. So they're definitely going to take a risk and send you a message and are going to talk to you. They're definitely coming. For others of you, this is someone already married or in a relationship. Or they could be already parent, single parents are already a parent, does not matter. Or they could be holding a, some type of position or authority, uh, well known in the community. So they definitely are worried about their repetition, worried about their family repetition, or worried about something, I don't know. This is a risk. This person is going to take it, to tell you or express it or going to be with you. Yeah, this conversation is going to happen. Definitely, heart to heart conversation. This person really want to speak up. They really want to tell you. That how do they feel? They really want to tell you that they are in love with you. And they're going to feel very passionate about you. They're feeling passionate and falling in love with you. This this looks like a like a new energy. Someone is definitely is 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 feeling a lot of passion and love for you. Or they're coming out to reignite this passion with the passion and reconciliation. Like they're coming to start this, but you need to surrender. There you go. This is your energy. Or vice versa, energy could be other way around. Just take what resonates with you. I will see you in the next video. Bye. God bless you all.